We hammer it a little bit. <clears throat> For more than 30 years, Jose Lemus has pounded, grinded, and cemented himself a living restoring the holes in the soles of old boots. Very deep, you can see. <laughs> it's a big hole. We put the new sole on trim, trim around, make nice, and ready for stitch. Jose learned his stitching skills from his father after immigrating to San Antonio from Mexico City in the 70s. Since then, shoe and western shops across the city have been two-stepping over each other for his services. It's a very dying art. I mean, just everybody can't pick up a hammer and start nailing. You gotta know what you're doing. Just one more? No, that's it. That's it? Mm -hmm. That was the last one. That was good. Yes. All right. You need to be careful with not cut the, the, the boot because sometimes they bring up uh, fancy boots and you had to pay. And since I didn't feel like paying, I asked Jose if there was a part of cobbling even I couldn't screw up. Squeeze a little bit. Squeeze a little bit? Yeah. There wasn't. You have so to be a little bit faster because yeah, the Yeah, it's, it's already drying. It goes quick. Uh-huh. And then use smelling too. Yeah. A few minutes more. How often do you stick to things when you're through with a day's work? Whether it's pride in a job well done or all that glue, Jose says repairing boots is good for the, well, you know. Check the sole. The sole is ready. I like the stitch of soles. Use the machines. It's an interesting job. It's an interesting job. <laughs>